Well, we have a brand new month and a brand new time, an opportunity to experience God's joy. If you look back on your life, the happiest moments, the moments that you treasure the most were those times of overflowing joy, where it was just coming up and out of you. Remember the last time you laughed so hard that you couldn't stop? Those are the times that absolutely delight and spice life. And we should pray for more of those times, not less. Hayden once said, When I think of God, my heart is so full of joy that the notes leap and dance as they leave my pen. And since God has given me a cheerful heart, I serve God with a cheerful spirit. In Proverbs 15, verse 15, the Bible talks about the absolute truth. Here it is. When a man is gloomy, everything seems to go wrong. When he's cheerful, everything seems to go right. Well, that is the law of attraction. When you are cheerful, just everything around you falls into place. People want to be around you because they want some of what you have. God promises that we can experience a special kind of abundance and joy. How do we claim these spiritual riches? Well, by trusting God, by obeying God's instructions, and by following in the footsteps of Jesus. When we do these things, God fills our hearts with God's power and God's love, and we experience a joy that surpasses human understanding. Today, as you go out to meet the many obligations of life, remember to praise your Creator and give thanks for God's gifts. That's the magic of the, of the gratitude to God calendar system that we're talking about so much now. As a way of blessing your loved ones in yourself, be sure to be quick to share a smile, a kind word, a hug, and some of your joy. It will spice their lives. And be sure that you're always ready to share it, not to hold it back. Sometimes when we're a bit tired or fatigued, we think we don't have it in us. But if we consent to God's joy coming through us, it will. And it will magnify, and it will soon overtake us. And God's message with the world is something that is felt by people, not just read. They see it in you. They love to be around you because of what they experience. And then it is something that people cannot be inoculated against. As you begin to share your joy, they'll begin to experience it in themselves and spread it. This is what I wish for you and your loved ones this whole November. God bless you.